Hey everyone, my name is Dan, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to create color palette from your image. It's a very popular effect, it looks nice and it's very easy to achieve. So let's get started. I have an image from a Blade Runner movie here prepared for you. I really like the colors of this one. We'll have to walk in 8 bits, so go to image, mode and select 8 bits per channel. Next step, go to image, mode and select indexed color. Dialog box pops up. Here you can select a number of colors in your palette. I'll go with 10. Hit OK. Well, now we have an awful looking image. But don't worry, we will uh, fix it in a minute. Now let's create our palette. Go to image, mode and select color table. As you can see, Photoshop created a palette with 10 most dominant colors of our image. Click save. Now we can return to our original image. To use the palette we created, we have to work with swatch step. It's right here. If you don't see it, uh, go to window and make sure that the swatches is selected. Now. Uh, click on menu button and select replace swatches. Select the file we have just created. As you can see, the Photoshop has replaced the default color palette with the color palette that we have just created. Now let's quickly add those colors under our image. Let's say I want to expand this image by 25% and click OK. Now we want to create 10 equal rectangles for colors. In order to do that, we will use a slice tool. It is located under the crop tool. If you don't see it under crop tool, click and hold on the menu button in the toolbar and it will appear. OK. Right click the image and select divide slice. As we have 10 colors, we will divide our image into 10 slices. Hit OK. And we will use rulers as well. Now let's paint on a new layer. Select marquee tool and pick the color from our palette. Fill the selection with a foreground color, shortcut, alt backspace. Now select the next color and fill the next rectangle. Don't forget to change the colors. Ok, now let's delete guides and slices. And we are pretty much done at this point, take a look at the final result. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like if you did and subscribe for upcoming lessons. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.